Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Ronnie. I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at my, how I did week 13. My predictions for week 14, I went 8 and 5 last week. I think that's a pretty good week for me. Uh, let's see which games I got wrong. And yeah. Okay. We got 10. Okay, 13. First game I got wrong Jets versus Atlanta. I thought Jets defense was going to be able to do. I thought Jets offense was going to be able to do a lot better against this Atlanta defense, which doesn't have a lot of stars on it. But yeah, I thought Arizona was going to be able to. wasn't going to be able to handle Pittsburgh's offense, who's been really good recently. Uh, another game I thought Denver was going to hold on. They've been playing really good recently, and at that loss the previous week that Houston had, I thought Houston wasn't going to take the win. But, you know, we were very close, game, very tight. Um, I thought Kansas City was going to get the win over Green Bay. I almost did. You know, some missed calls. Jacksonville versus Cincinnati. I think maybe if Trevor didn't get injured, this game could have been different. But, you know... Cincinnati's quarterback played really good and had a really good game. So, yeah. Now let's take a look at my week. Now let's take a look at week uh, 14. First game, we got um, New England versus Pittsburgh. You know, New England just hasn't been looking good offensively, has, has been looking terrible. You know, even with Pittsburgh, you know, very one of the lowest. Uh, about, you know, this is one of the lowest over any games that we've seen in almost three decades. And in this situation, I do have Pittsburgh winning. Tampa Bay versus Atlanta. I think Atlanta could pull this out. You know, they're not versus a good Tampa Bay defense in which in which they have to worry. But yeah, Rams versus Ravens. I think Ravens are such a good team offensively and have a solid defense in which they could easily pull this out. Lions versus Bears. I think Lions, you know, it's a tough loss on Thanksgiving. I think they're going to come back a lot strong and be really physical. Okay, uh, next we got Indianapolis versus Cincinnati. Uh, if if the backup quarterback for the Bengals didn't play really good against the Jaguars, I wouldn't be choosing them. But in this situation, I got to take this. I got to take the Bengals in this situation. You know, they played a really good game against a solid, solid Jaguars team. Now let's take a look. At um, Jacksonville versus Cleveland, I think Cleveland's gonna take this with the win with Joe Flacco being, you know, I would have to say a Ravens legend. I think that he could pull this out for the win for them. I think that he can definitely have a great game over this Jacksonville team without Trevor Lawrence. And we're gonna just take a look at Carolina versus uh, New Orleans. I think New Orleans is gonna win. Carolina is really looking good, looking good recently. I think they're, they're a young team that needs to develop a lot more. Houston versus um, the Jet, uh, versus New York. I have Houston winning. Jets really have not been looking good. They've been having a quarterback carousel. And I think that that's part of the issue that's going to be happening is that, you know, maybe Zach Wilson wants, doesn't like getting hated on. You know, yeah, he hasn't had time sitting behind somebody to develop, which could be part of the problem. But, yeah. Um, Minnesota versus um, Las Vegas. I do have uh, Minnesota winning. I feel like Las Vegas is a great team, but I feel like Minnesota gets back on the roll, especially with Justin Jefferson coming back. Could easily be a win for them. San Francisco versus um, Seattle. I have San Francisco winning. They destroyed them previously, and now Brock Purdy's back, and he's in that conversation for MVP right now. Kansas City versus Buffalo. This is all over if if Josh Allen makes the turnovers, it's going to be Kansas City's game. If, he, if he's able to hold on to the ball, it, it could go Buffalo's way. But right now, in my opinion, it's more favored in Kansas City's, Kansas City's uh, way. And I think that that's a great, great play. Denver versus Chargers. Right now, I have Denver winning. I don't think that the Chargers are playing that good, but... Even though Russell Wilson is beat, turning over the ball a lot and not playing good football, you know, he's still a top quarterback. And the winner of this game is probably going to get the wild card spot, a wild card spot in the AFC. That's what's really what it's going to come down to. Now let's take a look at the Eagles versus Dallas. Winner of this game most likely will, could be the team that will win. 
the um, uh, NFC East. I think it's going to be Philly. Dallas has had a really hard time sh- stopping Philly, but maybe they can. Maybe they saw something on tape that San Francisco was able to do to just take a part and have a big win against Philadelphia. Now let's say look at Tennessee versus Miami. I do have Miami winning. Tennessee is such a young squad in at the quarterback position right now, in which I don't know. It's a very risky play right now to be doing that. Uh, and Miami just played really red hot. They were jumping the kids. Your commanders. And yeah, not, okay, now we're gonna take a look at Giants versus Packers. I do have Packers winning this game. It hurts me to say that. But after that big win against Kansas City, I think Jake um, Packers are definitely gonna pull it out and take this win over the Giants. So yeah, guys, that's my opinion. Let me know how you guys think it did. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, peace.